Hi, I'm Amanda Clark. I manage the product team for EOSIO here at Block One, and I'm joining you today from my home to talk to you about some of the exciting features that we have coming in our 2.1 release. The feature that I'm most excited about in this release is Nodios clustering. I think it brings a ton of benefit for both public and private networks, and that it allows blockchain systems administrators to deploy more resilient, more highly available Nodios instances. The features in this release were very much born of our experience building voice with EOSIO. We found several opportunities to make the platform easier to build on and easier for systems administrators to maintain over the long term. Nodios clustering allows systems administrators to provide a better experience for their users by enabling them to deploy more resilient disaster recovery scenarios. We also now support instrumentation in Nodios so you can optimize your application stack and provide the best performance possible. Nodios clustering provides particular value for private blockchains who are running in a single producer configuration. This allows you to provide immediate finality for your transactions without introducing the risk of a single point of failure. The Key Value API provides developers with a simpler, more straightforward, more flexible mechanism for managing on-chain data stores. This release also provides developers with an easier way to get return values from actions into external processes, which simplifies application development. Thanks for listening today, and we're looking forward to hearing your feedback.